Hi, Devin. Um, just taking a look at your brochure. Um, it's looking really nice. I really like the colors that you chose. Um, and just your different design ideas that you have. Um, so let's see here. Okay, so I'm looking at the front page here. And I, I like how you have this. I like these designs that you have here. Um, you could with this text. I'm not crazy about this text you chose. Um, I kind of think there might be something else out there that will work better. Um, maybe Helvetica or sans serif font of some sort. Um, and I think this is too big. This font's too big. Um, so it's coming right up to the edge of the safe zone. Um, I'm not quite sure if you exported this with your bleeds or without bleeds. Um, so we might have to discuss how these graphics might aren't, they're not really coming up to the edge of your brochure. Um, I think maybe they should be coming maybe even out to the bleed line of the brochure. Um, so it almost looks like this isn't even centered in this panel because this is your whole panel here. And so this isn't even centered down the middle of it because it's not filling up the whole panel. It's more off to the left here. And there's like this space on the right here. So either maybe size it up to meet the edge or even probably size it up to meet the edge, um, is what I would do with this graphic. Um, Another thing is, yeah, make this a little bit smaller. So have her area could be on one line and then events and recreation. Um, so maybe three lines, have her area being on one line, the first line maybe. Um, I do like this back cover. I think you could have it, you know, be a very simple back cover. Um, this is the inside folded page, which if you want text on here, like any kind of body copy, you might want to fill this in with a color such as this, um, just depending on, on what you're wanting to do with that inside folded cover though. Um, it might be a good idea to have a little bit of text on this page. And like I said, extend this graphic all the way to the edge here um, so that it's actually centered within the panel, the width of this panel, which would probably be about like right here maybe somewhere like right in there. So, uh, and then this is looking pretty good. Once again, I think we have an issue with your graphics, maybe not coming all the way to the edge of the panel where the actual brochure will be trimmed. I don't think you have your bleeds included in this. Um, I believe this is a PDF. I'm not quite sure actually at this stage, but, um, and then maybe changing this text to be a little a little different and and maybe just trying to bring some more continuation from this part of the brochure into this part of the brochure so maybe adding in that white in the background of these um, graphics would help to tie it in a little bit more with so that they there's just a little bit more consistency um, and then there's some gaps here so you might want to tighten those up um, they can help you with that in class if necessary. And then, yeah, maybe try a different text, different font. I'm not a huge fan. And maybe putting a screen over the images, just like a opacity. You, know, you might have to use the pen tool, but you could, you know, draw a shape over all of this, you know, enclose it, make sure you close it up to make a, a, a shape and then fill it in with a color and make the opacity come down. And you could have that over the top of all of these images, uh, potentially to help that text pop out more potentially. Um, otherwise it might just be a matter of choosing different images that are a little bit darker that will show your white text better. Um, and then I think, you know, maybe you're planning on using some of these, um, logos. This might be spelled wrong. Bear, pat, pab, 
DM. I think it's like, I think it's spelled different. I think Bear Padma is, is spelled a little different than this. Um, so check that out. I'm not quite sure if maybe you made this. And it does look nice. I like this lo lotus flower that you that you used. She does like to use that in her in her uh, designs. It's painted on her wall, too, in her studio. So I think that does go well with uh, with her. But I think this is spelled wrong. It's She spells it weird, but... Um, and this obviously looks great. I really like this graphic quite a bit because they just have a nice logo. Um, and that's a nice photo in the background. So that wouldn't be a great one to use um, in this brochure. Yeah, so maybe if you can make some of those changes, I think that will help to tighten up your design a little bit. Um, one thing you might want to do is also... I don't know if you want this much space on the top in this gold color and then on the bottom color. Um, you might want to like bring these down, you know, these white shapes down a little bit so that there's a little bit less gold in here. Um, because that means that, you know, you have even less space to work with for text, unless you think that that works out okay for you. Um, you might be able to just get all your text in the inside pages, but um, it might be a good idea to bring text in here somewhere on the outside. Smaller text, not just uh, this main headline. So anyway, um, that's the feedback I have on your brochure. Good job so far, and we'll see you in class.